These guys currently have the most popular horror movie on the planet. You think we haven't signed up to see Illuminati? <laughs> yeah, you're damn right we did. <laughs> we lost a million dollars out of our budget. And I was like, hey, Logan, would you want to be an executive producer on no, this film? You did not. No, you did not. Ah! Ghosted. Oh, oh, yeah. You guys an act possess? I wish I'd never vlogged. <laughs> I have a question for you, WWE oh, related. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got a big show for you today. It's multi-platform super celebrity, boxer, wrestler, newly engaged. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Logan Paul. Yeah! Welcome to the show. Did you start already? I mean, yeah, we're on. All right, how long? How long? Oh, really? Oh, about half an hour. I had an intro and everything. No, 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 we, we, don't, we haven't started yet. Should we come yeah, right? in? Yeah, right. Wait. Do we come in? No, we already have the headphones on, dog. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? I don't think we have started. No, nah, I, we, 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 I think we started. Yeah, we're, loose. Started. we're loose here. We're this very loose. Oh, oh that was a trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. Good to see you. Oh, so Mike was trying to get us a Twitter. I thought Mike was trying to do something. Yeah, Mike was trying to turn us against you, Logan. Oh, Mike's on some sneaky shit. You know what he does? You know what he does? He'll go on a podcast after you know him. And then talk shit about you on the on the podcast that isn't yours. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh yeah, that's the. Are you referring one, to right? something specific? <laughs> <laughs> you said no, said I'm a dick one. rider, bro. So yeah, oh, Michael, like, oh, catch, catch up. up. That's the last one I'm catch saying. Catch up guys. on your like, YouTube drama. Come on. <laughs> yo, do you guys yo. still follow YouTube drama? No, no. I, I, <laughs> the right big now. leagues now. No, no, no. I just said that to them. I just said that to them. There's gonna be a lot of big league jokes. I had an intro. Read it. Read it. I'm not gonna read it. I can't. I was sc scrolling through. I even memorized it a little oh bit. Oh my gosh, oh, no, this is so unfair. I've got a monologue here. No, I need go. it because you tricked us into talking when the cameras are rolling. No, no, we're getting, a, we're getting an intro. No, right he now. said, okay, yes, we'd love to hear it. All right. <laughs> These guys haven't changed at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> and that's what I wanted, dude. This is great. <laughs> okay, uh, this is going to be shit. All right. Yeah. Um, um, listen, these guys currently have the most popular horror movie on the planet right now. It is terrifying. It's so scary. In dark, I'm slightly concerned. We're gonna talk about it today. If you watch them on YouTube, they have billions of impressions. You may know them as Raka Raka. Their film was an independent feature, got featured at Sundance Film Festival, then acquired by A24. You guys are absolutely crushing it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Danny and Michael Philip Pau. Yes! Philip Pau. Oh Philip my Pooh. God, do you remember Pooh. that? Philip Pau. Hey, it's good, it's good. Philip Pau. Oh my gosh, you remember that? Of course. Well, it's also on the PDF. <laughs> <laughs> you learned your lines. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Wow. Four years. That's what I forgot. That's the other thing. Four years since you guys have been on Impulsive. Oh, You've been on the show right. before. Uh, yeah, we have. Yes. I, I was yeah, surprised that you accepted us back. I thought we bombed that other one. Yeah, it yeah. was a bombing. Yeah, no, was like, no, yeah. no way. You guys, you guys brought the physicality. We got nutty. I think something exploded at one point. There was bottles smashing overhead. Oh, that's what yeah. it was. Yeah. That's yeah. what it was. See, Danny hasn't, that's the last time. Danny, you, you haven't moved on from that. That, was, that, is, that was his moment. I know, I was on impulsive. <laughs> I was pretty, I was pretty, uh, but I, uh, yes, thank you for having us, Logan. Did you know, you probably don't remember this, and it sounds like I'm picking a fight, which I'm not. Whoa. Oh, I'm so not, but I remember we lost a million dollars out of our budget for Talk To Me. Uh, by casting Sophie because she wasn't a name yet. So we re reinvested our fees, our producer reinvested her fees, and then we needed the last AUD but part of the budget. And I was like, who can I ask? And I was like, I'm gonna ask Logan. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna ask Logan. And I was like shaking and I was like, oh, I could not believe I'm asking Logan for money. But I was like, hey Logan, would you want to be an executive producer on no, this film? You oh, no, you did not. No, you did not. No, you did not. I was shaking. I was like, well, I, I, like, I don't mean to ask no. you this, but you will get our returns on this, this, and this. No, no. Guess what? No. Ghosted. Oh oh. <laughs> wow. I got ghosted yeah. and I fucking hate man. I was so angry with myself. I was like, I was so embarrassed and I was like, why did I do that? Yo. But yeah. Yo. New number. When did you do that? No, because I, I I just got the new number. No, oh, Danny, shit. don't worry about him. But Mike ghosted us too at Sundance. What are you doing? Oh, that's yeah. actually, that's, actually, that's, actually, that's what I'm talking about. That's what he'll do. Exactly. Oh my God. He was at Sundance, Mike. I'm like, bro, you want to come to the, you want to come to the premiere? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's not pick fights with our hosts. <laughs> no, 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 it's no, good, it's good. No, 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 you're just happy they're switching to me because <laughs> you failed the investment. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. I mean this. I mean this. I'm not a huge ghoster. 
And if I like you, I'm definitely not a ghoster. Yeah, no, and that's, I, that's why I, it hurt. Not only, do, <laughs> <laughs> not only do I like you guys, I believe in your creative ability. I've been saying you guys are like the best filmmakers on YouTube forever. Danny, I have reason to believe. I, I, you may have texted the wrong number. I no. No, I, no, 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 I, Danny. I, I, no, 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 Danny. No, 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 because because no, because look, look, look. Here's another thing you don't know about Danny. You know when people change your number and they're like, hey, this is Logan, this is my new number. There is not one person in my phone who has new, newest, newer, the newest one. Danny Rocker, new, more than Danny. You have changed your number so yeah. many times. Yeah. Get it, Logan, get it. Let me, let me know. I need my defense. No, 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 no. wait a second. Oh Danny Rocker, new. Danny Rocker, newest. Oh, fuck. Danny Rocker, Rocker. Danny Rocker, Rocker. Danny Rocker, Rocker, UK. Danny Rocker, Rocker, US. Danny no. Rocker, US. Danny Rocker. Motherfucker. Ah, oh, no. Okay, no, this is the hey. reason. Yeah, no, this which is the reason. Which could have been anybody. Yeah. No, I know. Let me, this is the reason. This is the reason. Because once I leave Australia and I come to the States, I always got a new number because I couldn't get a SIM card. What? No, Boy, no, I'm telling no, you. No, no, I'm no. telling you. Wait, Danny, did you really send that text? Yeah, I did. I Yo, did. That, that actually... I'm having a well, serious moment right now. I had like a really me. big thing. I didn't want to talk to Mark about it and I was so embarrassed to do it, but I was like, I feel like Logan believes in us. I feel like he might do it. And I was literally shaking texting. I and never I was like, saw yeah. it. I we, never saw the text. No, you know oh. what? I don't want to blame never, him anyway because we were supposed to do that video, remember? The Pokemon one? We, we were going yeah. to do that big video. Yeah, yeah. And then we are the ones that kind of, it felt No, 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 no. There was two reasons why. No, 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 because, yeah, well, <laughs> wait, just so people know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get laid out right here? I want to yeah, lay you out. Boys, oh, yeah, boys, yeah, frogs, you. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, uh, we're going to shoot in Puerto Rico. Yeah. But it was too expensive. Yeah, that we was why. Yeah, oh, we yeah, then afford. we had to change to New Orleans and it all just It just fell That wasn't what, dude, 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 I wish you would have followed up. I'm really upset. That, oh, yo, my gosh. after we watched Talk to Me, I literally told Jorge, I was like, I feel like I should probably, like, finance or, like, pitch into their next movie like oh guys i need to now be involved i want to be involved because no 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 because i know a little part of you when the movie kicked off you're like yeah fuck Logan. Oh, no <laughs> no not at all no seriously <laughs> now nah, look at us no <laughs> i was yeah, i was nice no, dude seriously Daddy comes in, the first thing he says to you guys hasn't seen you in four years and the, water, the first thing you say is like picking a fire you're no, like, no, no, I yeah. just say, no 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 we're just being nice and raw and open and honest oh wow, wow, wow. Wow. it's been on your chest and it, was, no, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't i actually no no literally the only feeling i felt was embarrassment that was are these just props or can i drink it you can drink the props okay. yeah, 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 yeah. we, we should have set, oh, set it up so it yeah. explodes yeah <laughs> you should have blown up speaking michael speaking of prime okay michael sometimes goes a little too crazy on these podcasts starts throwing shit around these are expensive microphones so have some respect for them you can throw whatever you want i'm not throwing anything i don't know they're so rich yeah let me have a look here. I, um, Prime. I am still waiting for my five percent. Um. <laughs> I'll explain that. <laughs> oh wow! Oh no! Look at you! Look fun. Nah, I'm just having fun. Danny's no, here. He's it. right. Danny made me a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say it. He, he really did. I, I was I was sitting in my kitchen. It was post Japan. Life was bleak. interesting. <laughs> oh my god! Bleak to say the least. Mike had just come into my life, and he was the only light I had. My bit. My new big brother. Oh. And uh, Danny, you were at our house for a while, staying at our house. By the way, were you writing Talk To Me then? Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. That was the movie you were writing? Yeah, oh my yeah, God. yeah. Oh. oh my God. Bro, he was walking around the house with this script. And he's like, I'm writing a movie, you know? And I, every time he would say it, I'm like, yeah, okay, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and he would just have all these like pages. Yeah. Yeah. You were actually no writing it. Way, dude. Bro, reading, there are so many. Where's my five yeah, exactly. percent, motherfucker? Where's oh, yeah, my yeah, house? Like, yeah, you know, there's, there's like some free. sort of creative location, like, commission. Well, that yeah. was so, yeah, that was so nice for you to open your house, right? Because we moved to LA to get the script sold and we were so broke. Oh my God. And then I texted Logan. I was like, hey man, is there a free... Be cool to hang out, but I was just dead broke. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, then we just chilled out with Logan at Logan's house. And I had the script, but I was redrafting at Logan's house. I needed a place. Yeah, there, like, in the back in the back house. In right? the back house. How yeah, long yeah. were you there again? Uh, probably like two weeks, three weeks. It was, I think it was no, it was, it was great. But it's yeah. so funny because during that like somewhat short time you were there, we definitely clocked. We're like, okay, they're writing a movie, whatever that. I've se I've seen YouTubers who have written movies before that sucked. <clears throat> <laughs> who's oh no Hold do you on. know any specific no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was like who's he firing well, no, a shot it was me. It was me. that's it was why me. I was saying that before about when you kept telling me and I was just like oh it's gonna be another airplane <laughs> oh, <laughs> so there's a sequel been there uh, uh, yeah so while well, you guys were there KSI calls me out for a boxing match yes and I'm in the kitchen and I'm like I don't know this guy, KSI. I, I, dude, it's boxing. I'm, I'm gonna kill him. I'm not gonna. No way. I'm gonna fight this guy. I got better things to do. And Danny stopped me. He goes, Logan, 
mate. He is the biggest <laughs> YouTuber in the UK. Oh my God, it would be huge. You have to do it, Logan. I'm serious. It would be so big. And he's just gassing this fight up. And I'm like, my God. Oh my Wait, God. Wait, this was a different time. The time that I was writing the film was a different time. That time I flew out there to convince you to fight KSI. I was with the Simon and I was with Simon and I was like, dude, I'm going to fly out and try and convince Logan. Shut the fuck Yeah. Up. And so I flew out specifically to convince you to fight JJ. And There's so did. much yeah. overlap, bro. It's, it's crazy. crazy. It's crazy. And it's I was crazy. there. I'm like, Logan, it'll be the biggest event in internet history. Logan, please. Logan, you have to do this. It, and he did that. And yeah, it's very yeah. believable and convincing. And so I was like, whatever. <laughs> Danny, I, he's got some brains. I'll listen to what he says. And I did the fight. And now I'm partnered with him. We're friends. And we oh, got this amazing yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so it's awesome, awesome to see. You guys have all been killing it. It's yeah, fucking it's awesome. It's so fucking to see. awesome. And Thanks, it's, it's all of you guys. Everything. Amazing. It's so crazy. And then, yeah, so I was just like, as soon as, as soon as I knew that Prime was happening, man, I, I yeah. And there was another podcast I was on. Where I'm like, you guys would be the best of friends if this fight wasn't happening. And, yeah. and, you, yeah, and yeah. you wait because Jake and JJ will be after the feud ends too. Do you, th oh, do you yeah, think so? 100%. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, it you depends, have to. It depends how that. it ends. And yeah, I was just about to say that. If it's not an embarrassing KO thing, like where someone's like, you know, memed, <laughs> then <laughs> they'd be best friends. But I don't, I don't see I just see them like go on yeah, their also, own. Yeah, but consider this dude like, I had a big ego. I still have a big ego, but <laughs> yeah. back then I had a really big ego and I had two fights to kind of neutralize it, right? Like, yeah. Because the one was a draw. If Jake and KSI only have one, I don't know, man. Okay, and it goes one way, like, who knows? You oh, know? I, we had a reach. lot of time to put out that fire. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and, and meet common ground. It was, it was crazy, bro. I, I owe you a thank you, Danny. Thank you, bro. No, that's okay. That's uh, all right. That's all right. If you just keep sending me some primes, I would. Uh, that's all I want. Uh, oh, what I happened with thing? that prime? The, it like, got banned in Australia or something? What no, happened? No, 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 no. There's no caffeine. <laughs> There's no caffeine. Wait, what's, up what's up with that? What's up with that? What are you doing? I'd sell it to the kids. What are you doing? <laughs> no, the headlines obviously worked uh, for the for the lobbyists who for the uh, for the Australians. You won. Just, you won. You, you I'm, won. Gonna, I'm gonna say, you know what? I don't think that the prime is that dangerous. And to prove it, I'm gonna skull one of these energy ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <if that's not> <laughs> I'm gonna break out. Yo, but, yo, but also, I love it. Disclaimer Danny's over the age of 18. <laughs> so, so hey, but if Danny, you don't have that big of a cut. He's really, his nah, face is turning purple. You're gonna be good. You're gonna be all right. You're over the age of 18. <laughs> oh, should I, I match? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh I wanna have one too. Oh, my God. Oh, that was Let's like all heavy. show them. Mike Logan, oh, you're gonna have yours? I, I've been drinking Prime Energy. I'm three four quarters, quarters of the way through. It tastes real good. Trust me. I'll skull it. Oh, yes. Skull it. Yes. Bro, it's so late. Come on, come on, Logan. It's nine o'clock at night. Let's do it. Yes, Logan, yes. Can Mike do it all the way through from the top? Do it. This thing's got like Finish mine. three times the caffeine of the competitors. <laughs> 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 I said don't do that. Oh, I said don't do that so <laughs> early. <laughs> I thought it was empty. <laughs> <laughs> he did warn us. Scarlet, do it. Mike, 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 Mike. Yeah. Yes, do it from the top. Look at him second guessing himself. He's second guessing himself. Now do that thing. Do that thing. Only for people above the age of 18. We are FDA compliant uh, in all countries, regulatory bodies, and systems. Yes, and I feel so healthy. I, I feel good. I want you to do that thing, that, that thing you do, that yelling thing. Prime! Big Prime! <laughs> I stopped doing that, dude. Oh, thank you. No, nah, oh. bro, no. Nah, what happens is um, every country has different caffeine limits on, on their beverages. Yeah. And so if we don't distribute energy, prime energy in certain countries, they'll be illegally uh, uh, imported. Un, by unauthorized imports. We don't want to hear your excuses. <laughs> There's no excuses. People, people, people know they can ship them in and sell them at a premium. Yeah. At the caffeine level that is too high for specific countries. Uh, yeah. Like Canada. Yeah. And Australia. But we don't distribute in Canada. We don't distribute prime energy in Canada. We do. We just got, holy shit. Actually, we, we just started distributing prime energy in Australia. Prime. <laughs> Today. Prime. Today. Prime. 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 No. I'm so sweaty right now. Australia <laughs> at on the run stores. Ooh. On the run, yeah. On the run, yes, I love my on the runs. We just we just started distributing private energy. There we yes. go. Okay, that's good. On the run, shout out, shout out Paraka Service Station. Hey guys, have you ever wished that you were a little bit taller? Maybe you matched on Tinder, but her profile says it must be over six feet. Ooh! 
<laughs> Maybe your date wants to wear heels, but she can't because it will make her taller than you. Well, I got the short Kings covered today with today's sponsor, Konzuri. Konzuri makes shoes that make up 2.8 inches to make you taller without anyone knowing. Look, girls get heels, makeup, and push-ups, and bras. Why can't men get a boost in confidence, too? We're all the same height lying down anyway, if you know what I mean. <laughs> For a limited time only, our listeners uh, get an extra 15% off your order with the code Logan at Konzuri.com. They're actually pretty cool shoes. The site is already 30% off, and with our code, you get an extra 15% off. That's 45% off your entire order. Support our show. Check them out. C-O-N-Z-U-R-I.com. Use the code Logan. I'll tell you what, guys. Being tall is great. 2.8 inches taller. Height insoles. Built into the shoe. So no one can tell you're getting a secret height boost. Life is short, but you don't have to be. It's time to level up the playing field. Boys, maybe update that profile to six feet. Uh, on top of the 30% off, 50% off, 45% off total. Logan at Kazuri.com. When I want to get high, I put on a pair of Kazuri's. I'm already six foot two, but but you should put on a pair of concerns. <laughs> Back to the program. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Paraka, Northern Paraka. Suburbs, South Australia. You guys are going to love the prime. Yeah. And you're going to love Talk To Me, which we're here for, right? Talk To Me is in cinemas now. <laughs> they know. I they... just got an eye out of my publicist who's looking at me like, are you going to bring no, up a fucking movie? I was going to say that. <laughs> Can we please talk about this fucking movie? It's here? incredible. It is so, it is so good. Oh and my... as we said earlier, I didn't know what to expect. I did, I, did you like... actually, uh, out of 10, how, how percentage did you think it was going to be heap shit? How percentage? <laughs> Pretty high percentage. Bro. Really? That's no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me rephrase that. I'm familiar with your work. I'm familiar with your YouTube videos. They're incredible. What, what you have been able to do for, by, by way of rebranding Ronald McDonald is incredible. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, bro, I have a whole different viewpoint. Did you viewpoint. also do the Cookie Monster? Yeah, was yeah, that yeah. You guys? Cookie yeah, Monster, yeah. So. Bro, you guys, you guys were, okay, let's, let's unpack this a little bit. You guys have been creating cinema quality movies for for a decade like the stuff that you were creating on youtube was good enough to go into amc like like literally like you would watch <laughs> these things and be like where is the budget coming from yeah, yeah, who yeah. is shooting these how is that man floating right now like <laughs> like like bro the, the bathroom scenes the water the floods like you guys have been creating that type of stuff for a long time so i should i should rephrase and say i knew going into it that it was going to be good but i did not know how good yeah, and and and, and, and I, I I took this new uh, girl that I'm talking to too. And and by the way, I don't see a lot of horror movies anymore. In my in my old age, I've gotten soft. <laughs> you know, I used to love all the all the classics, Poltergeist and Exorcist and hey. anything else like you know, The Shining, anything else that came out when You're I was that born old. in the seventies. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, but you know any of that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. All the classics, and uh, so I I, I kind of pushed back on even seeing it because I was like, yo, this is gonna be horrifying, and I had no idea. I mean, one of the most traumatic, disturbing, stays with you, messed up graphic films I've ever seen. I'm still trying to interpret seen. it. I, it, it, st it stayed with me, and after the fact, I was processing the depths of the film. There were layers, and I guess it makes sense. You've been writing it for four years, right? And I, and I, I, I want, I want to like ask specific questions so about many, it. So many, so um, many. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was amazing. And I, I thought it was gonna be pretty good. And then I'll be honest with you, this is my one critique. I'm only gonna make one critique. Maybe you've heard it before. Oh, I love it. Go. You're go. gonna start with this? What's wrong yeah, with you? Yeah, that's, that's, Why that's, can't you guys yeah, ever I just- started, I started, yeah, I started with a shot. Beef, I, start, I started with a shot. I started with yeah, a Yeah, you shot. started fucking no, no, no. firing shots. Don't interrupt. So yeah, let's hear the critiques. <laughs> I came in the theater and I'm like, telling my girl, I'm like, these guys are fucking good. And if this got picked up as an indie, I know this is gonna be amazing. And then, it, I felt like it started a little slow. Disagreed. He told Hold me that. Hold on a second. He no, told no, me okay. that. 20 minutes in, I'm, I go, I turn to Nina, I go, I'm really hoping that <laughs> so, like something happens. And then you're latched into that roller coaster and it does not stop. I walked yeah. out going, oh my God. It finally it happened. The, op <laughs> the opening what? scene has a death in it. So how slow can no, it be? No, 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 no. You know no, what I'm no, saying? After like, that. No, that was a YouTube theory. That, they hooked them. They hooked them. Right but there's a couple, but there's a couple, open. there's a couple beats. There's a, there's an initial uh, uh, beat of the um, sorcery, sorcery well, possession. I, I, okay, here's, here's my rebuttal. I, 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 I <laughs> not only wanted to make a horror film, I knew that, I, like to exist outside of Raka Raka, I knew I wanted to make a, a, a film that worked as a drama as well. And to really build up those characters and have them be yeah. grounded in reality and feel like real people and not just feel like we're in a typical yeah. horror film where these jump scares are gonna be happening everywhere and the characters don't feel believable. Boring. So, no, no, oh, see ya. <laughs> Danny, Danny, Michael, listen to me. 
I, I'm a huge Coen Brothers fan. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah. I tr have asked him to watch a million movies. My favorite movie is No Country for Old Men. Oh. This dude has a 42 second. My attention span is horrible. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, by the way, bro, it, 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 after the fact, when it was done, I realized what you were doing. Those first 20 minutes are really important for building the characters. But character, at the time, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know what I was watching. Yeah. And to also put this into perspective, I walked out of Oppenheimer. <laughs> oh, Whoa! I walked out of Oppenheimer. I almost, I, I, was, I was also oh separately 18 minutes into Interstellar and I was considering walking out because it was so slow. Oh and now Interstellar is my top three favorite movies. Logan, you uh, walked out of Oppenheimer? I, I didn't know what they were trying. I, we, what are you doing? It's just, everyone's just talking. It's just an hour and a half, 90 minutes of talking. Oh, yeah. Just talking, talking. It's all exposition. Dude, dude, it's all, nothing happens. I disagree, I disagree. But, but I understand. Everyone, see, no, that's the thing is with YouTube, it is that, <laughs> that internet thing of like hooking people and keeping them and there. keeping them engaged. Yeah, 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 keeping them engaged. Like. It was, it's showing a different side. And the film is like, we had an extended cut when that goes for 20 minutes longer yeah. of more drama. I want, I want, I want it. You want the drama? And I yeah. want it. And I want to ask this question to, to really make people understand right off the bat here as we talk about this movie. Oppenheimer and Barbie, in terms of just talk and, and internet, you know, gossip and, 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 and hype, these <laughs> things have just been unstoppable, right? <clears throat> Out of the three movies, including your, including Talk to Me as well, which one has the highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> I don't know. I actually I don't know. Currently, I I would I know A twenty four is here. Fact check me on this. I check it every day because I'm I, I want to. I am so <laughs> fucking proud of you two. I am so oh, proud of Mike, you two. Thank you. Thank you. I look at the score every day. I'm not kidding. And it was <laughs> trending at ninety six percent four days ago. It's at around ninety four percent today. And I would I would. I would assume I'm safe to say that you have the higher, highest rated movie out of the three of them. Oh my gosh. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Mike. <laughs> that, it was a your, your message and your, even yours, Logan, it really does mean so much. And we feel so, so much love and support from the online community. And every time I see anyone talk about the film or reach out about the film, I don't know. Like I, I really, yeah. Well, and, and especially and the, cause it's like you, we are going up against those like Titans. It's like, yeah. It's uh, that, I've heard to get the response that it has has been, and we're terrified about going up to get Barbenheimer. I'm like, we're gonna get buried. Hold on, we got we got feedback from A24. Ninety three. Oh, <laughs> They're up on Oppenheimer by one percent, <laughs> which For is now. incredible. <laughs> and, and 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 building off of that that thing, I don't. I would never say like when I went to post the next day about having seen it, and I was like, I'm gonna post this, and everyone's gonna reply hashtag ad in my comments. Oh shit! Like right. thinking I was just doing this to hype up a show coming up or whatever. I never fucking talk about shit unless I, I love it and I loved it so much. And yeah. so I I'm sa I'm saving my love post for when when this comes out Smart. a little a little bit around Smart. it. Um. But it's got to feel good when your audience is responding to this. I think I think because you guys have built an online audience, whenever a creator breaks out through that mold of just internet, everyone's rooting for him, right? So, like, I mean, bro, hearing that you're higher rated than Oppenheimer or Rotten Tomatoes, like, what does that feel like? That's insane. <laughs> to make a good movie is a miracle. That's insane. You guys must be beaming. Yeah, it's like a, a surreal feeling because... We threw the dice literally every step of the way with the movie. It was supposed to be with a big studio, but then we, they were giving notes about changing the creative and we're like, ah, it just won't be ours if we like, like bend to this. So we, we took it, we did it independently in Australia with Australian accents. And then also the cast we chose, we like lost a, a further million dollars for casting Sophie Wilde, who's what, unbelievable. What, 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 do you, what, do you, what do you mean by that? Does she cost a, mil a million no, dollars? No, 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 so, so the budget was set to just say whatever amount it was. We lost a million dollars out of the budget. They said, we can, we'll let you cast her, but because she's not a name, she's not a draw. It's less of oh. like, yes, we Yeah, it's like, yeah, we, you, we're gonna take a million if you want Sophie. And it's like, oh, that's a small price to pay. Because yeah, she see, is fucking dude, amazing. She's seriously the most talented, beautiful person in the world. And, and even like behind the scenes, off camera, she's so genuine and lovely. One and, of those. And, huh? then, and, then, and then on set, seriously, her talent, every single take, every single part of the process, she was incredible. She blew us away. How did you find her? It was all in the audition process. So we were just no auditioning way. so many different people and her audition just came in. And then we're like, what the fuck? Like we just could not believe what we were seeing. She was so incredible. And then, she's incredible. Yeah, yeah. she's incredible. Yeah. Which, which she had to like be possessed even when she was like singing at some points. I was like, how is Dude, she, she, how she channeling singing. this? She started singing for real. That was her singing. We're going to dub over her voice, but she started singing in French on set. Oh, God. oh yeah, that, that was it. Was yeah, 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 yeah. In the yeah. montage. Oh, yeah, I love her so much. Oh, I love you. And, and like, love you, Sophie. We, we <laughs> had to um, reinvest our fees and then the managers, our uh, um, producers did as well to get the movie made. And it was tough because we were literally, the, the YouTube stuff just, 
literally dead broke. Like we're at a, <laughs> we're, we're at a Sydney, like a party, a, a YouTube party in Sydney, and everyone was just ragging on us for having no money. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need you need some money for the for the fucking plane home, do you? Or like, leave us alone. And I, all, all we had was like this was like uh, like we're like back against the wall, and it's like all or nothing. Like we just got to go all out and just put everything into this. Like, because we've always just wanted to make a movie, so it was just like, yeah, and, and taking the, the leap. And, and just even the crew that we got and everyone that we got to work with, man, it was seriously like a family on set. And shout out to our producer, Samantha Jennings, and our cinematographer, Aaron McCliskey, oh and our God. production designer, Bethany Ryan. It's like watching the Oscars. <laughs> oh, this, is crazy. <laughs> this is my Oscar yeah. speech. Yeah, what are you fucking Oscar, Oscar speech. speech? I don't know, I just feel so much love for our crew, so I, I just want to say, It yeah. was, yeah, it was, it was yeah. really tough, cheap. And, uh, like, yeah, and, and shout out to Logan for ghosting me and- uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here and I can't believe I didn't see that message. I can't believe I didn't. I don't know what happened there. It, 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 I'm pissed, actually. I, I'm so joking. Who, major, who did end up major question about that. The, when you reached out to him, was this pre A twenty four pickup or post? Pre, way, way pre. Okay. Yeah, this is way pre. Does <laughs> does Logan Paul, executive producer, credit? Fuck, she's already laughing. Affect A twenty four's decision to pick up the film? No, he's because a controversial. Look at, look at he's a controversial. Never look at person. YouTube. Like we're YouTubers as well. Like oh, I, I, I don't know. Her, <laughs> Oh, she won't answer. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's like, there's no chance that it would get picked. <laughs> I'm joking. It could have ruined everything. Nah, no, no. But no. like, it was, just, it was just about people that financed the film. So who who I, did finance the film? Uh, so there was a whole bunch of different people. Uh, there was a guy named Noah Dummett who privately invested and made up that part of the budget. And uh, part of Hold Standard was their company. And yeah, uh, Screen Australia, SAFC, Adelaide Film Festival, Kojo. I'm trying to think of everyone that invested. I'm so sorry. I'm Bankside. Bankside. Just yeah. a, a bunch of random. So, so back. We uh, have a collection of things. Run me through this business model. When it's acquired mm -hmm. at, at, I don't know, is it stage um, A at, at Sundance or by A24? Oh, yeah. Do, how do the investors make a return on their money? So, so, so you make the film. And then you make it to sell it. So it wasn't sold anywhere. We didn't know where it was going to live or if it was going to live anywhere. So it could have just gone direct to DVD or something. So we make it and then you try to get the festivals and you try to get it picked up by Yeah, at, at Sundance is where they get it watched and then there's distributors there and yep. they'll give you then they'll give you money. So we got that, uh, A24 picked it up and they gave us money to be like, okay, uh, we're going to give you this much and then we're going to put like um, so promote you, it. So you yeah. essentially sold it to them? Yeah. 100% outright. The, the, no, 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 the, the rights for the North American release. So, so we, we have, sold it to we all, sold over, to all, all, all over the world, different distributors. Yeah. It's worldwide. So there's a place called Khan's Film Market. We had a trailer oh. for the film and then- we, Oh yeah, but pre, pre um, A24 and pre even Sundance getting into the film festival, we had a promo reel that went out to the Khan's Film Market and you just show like a promo reel and then distributors can buy it for like certain territories. Okay. And they went there thinking, oh, you know, we might sell one or two. And they just sold 80% of the world. Yeah, like, yeah. Off of a, no one had even Dude, seen the movie. As, even those territories, I just broke down crying. Because I was like, I can't believe, us, uh, like, it's going it's to be in cinemas in yeah. Malaysia. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be in yeah. cinemas in Mexico. Have like, you gotten I the reviews there. back from Malaysia yet? How are they <laughs> feeling about it? Oh, my gosh. The Malaysians love it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so... Oh, this is this whole process is they just do. insane. <laughs> Sorry. Dude. Yeah. When, when was this? When was this movie made? Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. It got delayed because of COVID. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were shooting during when COVID was coming down. Yeah, yeah. Right, and then but there was still like if you get COVID on, you have to disappear for a week. Right. And there was one week where we lost like thirteen crew members. Oh my god. It keeps going up. Michael does this thing. Was it thirteen? It was like eight. Like 20, <laughs> 20 crew members. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was it eight? I, I don't know. Was, oh, I don't probably remember. eight. But all I know is that, yeah, even the short was the shoot was so short. That it was we supposed were, to be eight weeks and it dropped to five because, because of, of the all these different cuts. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so are you guys still broke now or are you rich now? Oh, well, we're still, I don't know. What, what are we? I don't even look at my account. We have no, we haven't actually been paid yet. Yeah, so we're still broke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if we can have 20 bucks for the taxi <laughs> back, that'd be great. <laughs> the Uber over here was pretty expensive, Logan. Uh, <laughs> we got you. Are you driving SUVs now? Is that your big time? Yeah, I don't know. What car, what car do we come in? Which bicycle do we ride on? <laughs> uh, uh, currently, do you know how much it's made at the box office? At the, this at today for uh, only U US for US twenty two million. Oh my god, oh, it's crazy. Which is what yeah, that's just US and that, that's, that's crazy. So so the Are big we? so the big like payoff for this in reality is you guys are now the hot boys on the block. Like ev like I've been seeing the the little presser, dude. Like what yeah. what have you who have you guys talked to? Who have you met with? Who what shows have you been on? Like everybody wants to talk to you guys right now. Yeah? Well, during the press run, we we're doing like thirty interviews a day. <clears throat> like, by, the, by the people that we've met, that I've, I'm like starstruck by. Jordan Peele texted us and Facetimed us, which made us again break down crying. Did you like both? <laughs> 
I did. I did like. I know you didn't like. Now I'm not nervous. Pretty dead, dude. No, I'm telling you, I love UFOs, and to see that on the IMAX screen took my breath away. Of that UFO flying through the sky, and like how grand that film was. I thought that it was an amazing film. Did you like Nope? I haven't seen it yet. What, you haven't seen Nope? I haven't seen it yet. Oh my that, God. I, 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 I never saw it. Either. Logan, I, saw I disagree it. with your analysis. I and I don't think fight, you, all of it, you fight all about it. it. All of it? Dude, dude. I, there was at one point you were like, yeah, why was Barbie Ferreira in that movie? <laughs> no, no, no. I just think that you can like, decorate the cast of interesting people. I, I, I love it when, when, you're, when you're pressing Danny on something and you keep looking at me. Why are you <laughs> fucking looking at Logan? <laughs> Someone, what I'm are you scared me? looking at Logan. I'm you're like, Danny keeps like, look here. No, no. Just look at me. Look at me. No, you want to fight him? Just take it easy, Danny. Like, Wait, I've got a question for you, WWE oh, related. Yeah. No, 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 no
yeah. Oh my gosh. And wait, uh, sorry, sorry. On the on the on the topic of fighting, and I, it is sorry, ADHD. Do you remember we were gonna make a movie together? Actually, two. There was two. There was two movies we were gonna make together. The first time you ever reached out to us. Uh, you got your manager to reach out and you were writing a gymnastics comedy film. Oh my God. Do you remember that? Oh my God. This was 2015. Gymnasty. Talking about layered scripts. That was very three-dimensional. Gymnasty. <laughs> that script was horrible. <laughs> was it? No, you never showed us. You said you were working it on it. It was so bad. And I did. I, I finished it. No, but oh my God, that goes way back. Yeah, that was the first time. Holy yeah. shit. What was the second one? The second one was we were going to do uh, a film based in Russia with you doing, it was going to be like a mockumentary sort of thing where was, you were actually going to enter the slap box competition <laughs> But it turns into a narrative and we wrote it and it was hilarious. Oh yeah. my God, Wait, you they were that? there for that. Of course we remember it. Yeah. Wait, they, we, we got, oh, That's we were all saying. doing it That's together. Yes, saying. yeah, dude. I remember Danny in the room. I was supposed, I was to, in the room. I was supposed to die via landmine. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna blow up and we're gonna do a big 20 minute fight scene where you start slapping your way out of Russia. Do you remember that? <laughs> yes, of we're gonna set, we knew Logan was gonna get knocked out and we're gonna set up <laughs> these like super slow motion cameras that would like have every second of you getting hit and losing consciousness. It, so it would have it would have been huge. Especially been now massive. you see how big slap fighting is. It's huge. It's yeah. It was coming off the heels of Flat Earth. Flat Earth, the Flat Earth documentary yeah. had already had already just gone crazy. We actually reached out to A24 to see if they wanted to pick that up. <laughs> they were not interested. They didn't want it? No, they didn't want they it. They missed out on that one. And and then I I, he, I would pester him because he's he's very focused. He's always got this going on, that going on. I'd pester him. I'd be like, that was the funnest thing I've ever done in my life. And yeah. I'd beg him every day, can we do another a written, another script, another half script or whatever? And you were around. Yeah. And so we got through a whole fucking yeah. It, it was it was incredible. But I, honestly, what what's being described here is a series of missed opportunities <laughs> for a twenty four. For a twenty four. When when are we gonna do something? It's a Street Fighter. Oh. <laughs> These guys are attached to the Street Fighter movie, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, right now we're just, just uh, it's early, early, early days. There's no script. Everything's on hold right now. Um, but yes, we are attached to the direct Street Fighter. And uh, yeah, Michael started traveling around Thailand to track down Sagat. You know the character Sagat? <laughs> yeah, of course. It's based on a real person. That's Name's in Sagat. Thailand that still does like training, like personal training. He's got, how old is he now? He's like in his 50s. Whoa. And um, yeah. I, I went, I went around trying to find him. You, so I just heard lost, some stuff about him. And no, no, no. Look at the guy. Anyway, anyway, it was good seeing you guys. Yeah. Out of here. <laughs> we don't have a we don't have a producer like Rogan. We would say, hey Jamie, could you pull that up? And he would pull cigar. Oh, just like oh, just him. like a wise, strong old man. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's bald. A, he's amazing. Yeah, and like, well, in the game, he's seven foot four. In real life, he's shorter than me. But yeah, but he's tough. Yeah, yeah. I was I was bouncing around Muay Thai camps trying to find him training, and I ended up finding him. Training <laughs> no way. Is he, is he going to be in the film? Yeah, I want to put him in the film in some way. Uh, yeah, we got a whole, a whole bunch of cameos. It's just looking at the things that inspired Street Fighter and like, you know, really diving into the, like, cause it's such an awesome world, an amazing lore and like doing our style of action with a budget. I think we could do something. We can create stuff no one's yeah. ever seen wait, before. Where, That's wait, what we're so excited. that as of right now? Oh, it's just, still early development. Yeah, there's a, nothing, nothing right yeah, now. There's it's a strike happening it, right now. There, which yeah. we support, we support, we support the strike. Are you guys SAG? Are you, are you in the SAG strike? We're not, we're not part of SAG. But no, no, we're, like we, we support the, uh, we're, the strike. Because the film was in Australia. Like we're very new to the film world. It was shot, made in Australia, like outside of SAG. And then, yeah. so we're just. But it, wait, we still, and, and even though our actors aren't SAG, we all decided that they wouldn't do promo for the film so we could all stand together. Are, uh, you, yeah. are you pissed at Mr. Beast for crossing the picket line? Did Mr. Beast cross oh, it? Oh yeah. How? What? When, he, why? he had like a he had like a built-in promotional obligation that like was I, I guess I guess if you have like a promotional obligation that's contracted, you actually can still fulfill it without like officially crossing the line, but it turned into like a whole like Twitter beef. Oh my gosh. That's that YouTube drama. Yeah, no, you no. guys should call him out for a fight for No, that. well we what? actually just beat him in, in uh, Uno. Uno for 50,000. Oh yeah, that's Wait, right. Wait, no, you spoiled, spoiled it. No spoiled it, damn it. No one knows, I'm gonna street fight you. <laughs> we battled him, we didn't want to say the outcome. But yeah, I beat Mr. Beast in Uno. I slapped him up, I pieced him up. And then we had footage, him. and then we had footage of it, of everything. Like he came late and he built, we, had this set. Like, like he built us a, set us a nice set of like Uno. And then he came late, so we trashed it with like sledgehammers. <laughs> and we filmed it all, like just all oh, fun no. and game. And then, and and then, then yeah. Danny goes to edit it, drops the fucking laptop, and it like and smashed it, and all the footage is gone. Oh, you yeah. lost it? Yeah. yeah. Oh so, my God. And I'm so sorry, Chandler, who was in the video, we tied up Chandler. Danny. And dude, I dropped it, and I snapped it, and I didn't back it up, and that footage is gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Danny did that. And then and then I'm like, okay, I'll shoot, I'll edit this other montage to kind of make up for it. And then I left, lost that hard drive. Yeah, dude, we're so used yeah, to yeah. everything. And now yeah. you know why you didn't invest the movie, and it's probably a good thing. <laughs> no, fuck no, everything. No, I, I, fuck I, I everything. Oh my God. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know what we can do together. Please. You, you need money? Primad. 
a prime ad. Wow, that would be great. Dude, a prime energy drink ad. Wow, Danny's desperate. That would be this, great. Is Danny, this is the oh, whole time. Danny's no, it's actually true. No, it's dude. actually true. It, look, look, look. It's a great idea, but truthfully, that would be helping me more than it would help you. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do something where we kind of it feels like equal or at least or at least where like you guys are at the helm and I can let you be the creatives a hundred percent right like bro you you'd fucking crush a prime energy it ad. sounds like you don't want us to crush it Logan no, 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 no I, do, I, I do but like I don't know I don't know <laughs> I don't I'll know, you guys the, are doing feature films I like I'll take the rejection on the chip if, if I if I or you come up with an out of this world idea <laughs> that <laughs> will blow people's mind I'm talking think no budget think 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 like Sending Prime to space, that's so lame. But like some something crazy, we could do it. We, we could shoot do it. it in space. But I wanna but I wanna like I wanna I wanna help you and watch you guys thrive like from the sidelines, but from a aid person. I don't know. I don't know. That I we'll don't figure know. something out. We'll figure out. We're just friends. We'll figure out that. I'll audition friends. for Street Fighter. Yeah, you gotta yeah. read for Street Fighter. I'll and be honest, I can't I can't really act. But you know, no, you're really good. No, but you, you are, are a good actor. You are a good actor. I could be myself. I could be myself really well. If, if the character is anything like me. But no, this <laughs> is what we do. Arrogant. No, yeah. perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> no, what we do for every cast member and every crew member is they all have to beat each other in either a real street fight or in the Street Fighter game. Oh, this is great. Yeah, so that's how we're going to be casting. <laughs> okay, perfect. Then are I'll, you good at Street Fighter? Uh, He's never played it. Never played what, what console? Fighter. What console? Oh my gosh! Wait a second. Uh, arcade. It's an arcade machine. Yeah. Logan. Mm. The original I, movie? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, we know. But Street Fighter 2, the arcade game, is just. Um, Can I be Blanca? Uh, no, you can't be. Perfect. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was my character. That was my character. I loved Blanca. That's, yeah, that's would sick. you consider Blanca to be a good character? Yeah, good, like I, I a, think all of them are good if you master them. Who did you guys play as? Uh, Chun Li mostly, oh, and I'm literally character. unbeatable. I can't be beaten in Street Fighter. I'm Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm this ADHD jumping around. What was that other question you had about talk to me? Did you have a question about talk? Bro, to me? I had every <laughs> talk to me thing set we, up, we but we're never bunch. gonna actually get there. We have a like, bunch. Let's be honest. It, no, no, no. Let's ask some because who's the people that like do that thing where they split up the conversations and you try to go and follow it? You know when they're like. It's Caleb. I know Caleb's gonna have a difficult time oh, with yeah. this one. I'm oh, so I, sorry. No, he's he's weathered some crazy fucking episodes. Can we let them give like a little? background of of what the film is about for people who haven't seen it yeah like and just, i'm curious to hear what or can uh, what, we show a trailer mid can we are you show you some of the trailer yeah can you get us whitelisted for a trailer no 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 here's a one here's a okay. one second trailer okay i can tell you what the film is about the film is about kids that use demonic possession to get high and we're up against all the <laughs> studio films and we need youtube and michael stop stop, stop, again, stop. Stop, <laughs> stop 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 wait is that <laughs> to cut you off while you're answering the question i just asked is that actually partially true? Because that was a bit of the the uh, behind the scenes feeling of it that I dug out of my soul watching it, which was yeah. once they start doing it, they're having trouble stopping. I, I think like um, the hand represents, I think all, like it represents so many things. And one of the things that represents are vices in general. So, so yeah, yeah. God dang. Yeah, yeah. And, and um, I think that people cling on to certain things when they're, they're in a rut or they're in a hole and they're not accepting the natural connections in their, in their life and they start clinging on to this unnatural thing. And, and they're letting these things into their lives, into their body, whether it's drugs, alcohol, or sex. Um, and in their hand sort of represents that. And, and yeah. Is it, 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 but does it go deeper than that? Because like that's a that's a good one-liner that captivates me. Yeah. But I was picking apart like the nuances of like, heaven and hell and yeah. the afterlife it, yeah it was was, was was were you going for any of that we're, we're, there's subtextually man it's we had so, our mythology bible for the film was so thick and we were exploring so many Your things what mythology. Uh, mythology bible which just breaks breaks down the rules of the hand and the film and the oh. spirits and why they connect to each characters and all this oh, sort of stuff this is great so you have the answers i'm looking for yeah and even even the ending no one's been able to decode the ending yet everyone thinks they know what happened at the end but there's something that no one spotted yet that's in the frame. I'm waiting for someone to go that and I'm gonna be like, yes, you, you saw oh, it. The, oh, there's an Easter egg. Oh, it's not even, it's this it's a hidden thing in the frame which helps explain what happened at the end. Wait, of the wait, can, can you, we'll cut it you're out. Not talking about the can mirror, you say you're it? not talking about the mirror scene, right? No, at all. obviously no, 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 not, obvious, obviously yeah. not. Uh, okay, you better beat this. Okay. Oh shit. We'll cut it out, no, for sure. Will you, promise 100%, 100%, I promise, I promise. I, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get to know it, you don't. Oh, shit. <laughs> but now you like... go watch a film and then you can see it. But tell me, I'll, I'll cut it out. That mythology topic was hot because th there was a lot of really graphic fucked up scenes, especially as it pertained to the, the travel, uh, spirit travel. Yeah. So like the, the scene that really fucked me up 
was where they showed where Riley actually was. Right, yeah. And bro. Dude. Bro, when so so I I saw that scene and and, and like, you know, obviously the little girl that 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 brought her there to, to brought me there to actually see it, like just everything around it was so horrific. But that scene of what he was going through. That felt I looked like I, hell to me. Can I, I like, can I yeah. Yeah, it, okay, so I'm gonna say this. I didn't want to masturbate for about a week after that or even have sex at all because I'm not married because I thought if I do that, that's where I'm going to go. <laughs> bro, like, like that's it. how much that seemed like, bro, bro, that was disturbing. Was that your rendition of what you believe hell to look like? Or is that some sort of other spiritual purgatory? Like, what was that scene about? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all those things. And the crazy thing about that scene we had to cut it right down because it went for two minutes 30 in the initial cut. And we oh got, my God. Yeah, what? and we had to cut it down to 15 seconds because it was just too- it, Yeah, it's just a couple of flashes now. Yeah, yeah some yeah, flashes. Yeah. Yeah, Were yeah, you yeah. mad that you had to cut that? No, it, no, it felt good. It felt good. It, it felt like it turned too schlocky. It felt too B-grade where it was like the shift was too extreme. Oh, it was so disgusting. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's in my mind. Like I see the whole- uh, coloring of it, that very brownish orange yeah. like coloring. Mm. It's, it's implanted. And there's a lot of scenes from the movie that stuck with me and continue to stick with me. I mean, fa the faces, the, you know, it was so well shot. And, a, and another big scene, and I want to talk about this as well, how you, how you attached social media to the movie so well to embrace what is the biggest part of our society nowadays. And the, yeah. and the scene that, that got me with that was, um, I think it was one of the first possession scenes where you showed... Uh, from a rear angle, the person being possessed and the audience in the in the full A shot all yeah. lifting their phones yeah. with the flashlights on. <laughs> and I realized very quickly how big of a play social media was going to have it as an attachment to this film. And it, and it went overboard when I saw the side men on the fucking, on the fucking <laughs> They put the side men in the like, movie. Yeah, yeah. That was incredible. I, I, I figured there was going to be one little YouTube-y thing. Yeah. And I, I was, yeah, I, I was so happy that they said yes. And uh, I, none of them have seen the film yet. Unfortunately, I really want them to see it. What? In the theater. Well, they're so busy. So, so yeah, I mean, eventually they'll watch it, but I can't wait for, especially Simon and JJ. I love them to death. So I'm so excited. So busy. How is that an excuse? Yeah, Look we got this fucking this logo. We got fucking you, you guys aren't that busy. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're so, in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a movie. Your movie. I know they're in it, and I've got my minimum to tattoo here. I mean, eventually, eventually. That is a fugly ass tattoo. You're a fugly ass person, and what? I will street fight you to death. We all are twins, so. You know. I know, Danny always <laughs> says that, oh, you're so ugly. And like you with blonde hair doesn't make you any like better looking. Okay. You ugly fuck. <laughs> yeah, so let's, let's chat about it. <laughs> I, I am curious because like shooting that scene, the scene he referenced and, and even just some of the horror stuff in general, the, 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 the toe sucking, you know, for example, like, like, is it, is it kind of awkward shooting the shit in person? Like, what is this like? Is no, it weird for the, everyone in the room? No, well, uh, number one, there was no, uh, like that scene was all prosthetic, like fake. Uh, there was everything, no, like, real, like, everything, like, everything on set is the funnest thing ever, you know, compared to what it looks like on camera. When you do practical effects and blood, it is so much fun and everyone's having so much fun. Yeah. The violence and stuff like that's always the funnest stuff to do. Like yeah. when you're working with prosthetics and like, you know, cause it's, it. yeah, it's a lot of fun to shoot, but than a different experience, I but guess, watching it. Also, even like with the possession scenes, there's like a certain scene with like a, a, a weird kiss with a, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So yeah. It, when we were doing rehearsing those possession scenes, everyone did each other's possessions. All the actors acted out each other's possessions so no one could be embarrassed. Oh, cool. And we did it as well and our producer did it, our camera person did it. And then, yeah, and even not only that, uh, to, for them to not feel awkward, but also you could grab parts of each other's performance and help build the performance as well. Oh yeah, you guys can act possessed. I mean, you said you can act. Actually, you said you couldn't. I said I couldn't act, <laughs> but I I do want to do I do want to pretend to be possessed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then when you're possessed, the spirit that's possessing you is attack, uh, attached to a certain hidden emotion of yours, and you've got to let that out here. Uh, yeah, what is that emotion? We what don't is know, your we don't show no, 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 no. That's you know that's like real acting. I could do possessed. No, okay, no, he's gonna do it. You're gonna go say I want to say I let you in. Well, you your head needs to shoot up, and when you come down, you've got to reveal something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, something something. Dark. Do you want me to go first? Or do you want to go first? You go first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm judging you. You got, you got to reveal something? Something personal. All this right, spirit right. is attaching to a part of yourself that you're hiding. Right. Grab the prime bottle and say, talk to me. And then there's going to be a spirit there. All right, all right. <laughs> and lights. You got to say, talk to me, then I let you in. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's get moody. Let's turn the I need the lights off. down there, yeah? Oh, this is going to be good. It's going to be very spooky. We've got to end with a big stunt. Oh, 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 oh. oh, if you. <laughs> I don't have any equity. 
<laughs> Look, <laughs> turn it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And action. Talk to me. I let you in. <laughs> Yo, whoa. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, it turns porno? <laughs> You're right, mate. Oh, that was so funny. We're going to post that. You're going to be embarrassed, loser. <laughs> what happened? What, what happened was you just gave us the worst performance I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm shocked. No, I have, no, that you committed. Amazing. No, it no, actually was decent. I'm, I'm appalled. I Dude, think. no, it was, it was really, fuck the veins out of your head. You committed. That, when that vein comes out, you know it's serious. I'm going to be honest. That was the prime energy, dude. Yeah. That, yeah. That's yeah. What that was. Mike, that performance was amazing. Oh, yes, yes. It was so good. It was so good. Can, I, can I ask this? Yes. Completely unpaid, any chance, a any chance for part two. Like it, it just the smallest scene, I I'll promote it endlessly. It it's a dream of mine. No. For you to be in the sequel or for there to be a sequel? I, I mean, it could be an extra even. Oh, I'd love to dress up as a spirit and then we'd shoot the scene and not include it in the edit. <laughs> I'm just doing roast. That is fuck. You're being roast. I know, no, 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 Mike. I know, no. You actually nailed it. I would cast you as a spirit and give you some fucked up prosthetics. <laughs> I'm not actually. Yeah, let's do it. Let's no, do it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, please. <laughs> there is that a, would there. make me so. I promise you, I can do it. Yeah. I promise we'll you, I can do it. We'll put you in the spirit world in that weird. <laughs> that would make me so fucking happy, bro. <laughs> is, is there a, naked though? Is there a sequel coming, dude? I think that by the time that this is out, there is a sequel. It's been announced. Holy shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I invest? Can I invest, please? Talk, talk to talk me. To me. I was wondering how you're gonna if you're gonna play a, play. A, the, the it's numbers. pretty typical. That's not that unique. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> you wait before wait before we. You've got to do yours. You have to do yours. Was my was mine terrible? No, 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 no Mike, no, Mike. Was it was it, actually good. It was no, no. amazing. It, I just it, it, I, something overtook me. No, I, that was I, not me, dude. I loved, I loved it. And it was, it was the commitment. It like, was the commitment. Yeah. I think but, it was the high caffeine content, to be yeah. honest with you. When I held that bottle, dude, I just... <laughs> you connected with, uh, yeah, with some prime. Logan, nail this. I know we can. Oh, yes. Yeah, See, he's, he's committing. Oh, and it's unplugged. It's unplugged We need to uh, oh, get the sound guy in. Here he comes. Oh shit, how did that happen? Are you worried, Mike? Is About like me versus the performance? Him type shit? I think yours was good. Thank I think you. no, it actually was. I feel bad for it. Well, you. I also came up with it, like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, actually, I didn't come up with it. It yeah, just so, happened. Yeah, that's who, who you connected to. Yeah. Whatever you say, uh, I, I connected with a sex addict. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like a as, soon as, as, as soon as you come back down, your first line needs to mean something. I need to have some weight. That's what I'm it. thinking about because because you, you you're like directing me right now, and I feel I really feel the pressure. Yeah, A24 because I don't will be watching. I, I don't know. I don't know what uh, <laughs> what my what my like secret. I don't know if I have any se secrets. Like some I don't, sort I don't of dark have like emotion. a third nipple or anything. <laughs> some sort some sort. It needs to be like dark. No, just a part of yourself that maybe that you've keep hidden or you're not too proud of, and it comes out when you're possessed. I'm proud of my entire YouTube career. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> show, this YouTube show. <laughs> this. <laughs> all right, all right. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, okay. No, you've actually got this. All I right. think you need to tell him to have fun with it. Yeah, have fun. Just Logan, just have chill, fun with it. Mate, just but chill. no, we are judging you. <laughs> no, I know. I got. I'm you not fucked an it off. <laughs> I'm not an actor. You're a good actor. I'm embarrassed. You're very good. No, no don't I'm going to be myself. Uh, I haven't ever gotten possessed. Yeah, I know. This is yeah, a, this the first what. time. Okay. Action. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? He looked up in the spirit. He saw his Caleb. The guy shooting the video. You did not commit. It started so strong. <laughs> don't like don't this. Like this. Stop doing it. I, 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 I believe in you, Mark. Talk to me. 
Please, Logan, you've got to do this. <laughs> Let's stick to the wrestling. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, he's not this. Who? Hmm. <laughs> Talk to me. He's <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Oh I'm my god! You. you can't. Uh, not you can't do blame it. Logan. You blame your bad director. No, your I'm bad not, director. No, 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 I can't. No, no, because because he, every time I feel like I'm trying to like notice the thing, you yeah. know. And every time I do it, I, I just like think comedy. Like, wait, yeah. no, like okay, but wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's a, yeah, you can interpret it uh, as you so will. Wait, wait, I'm gonna do one okay, thing to help right, you, right. and it's gonna be a little bit mean. But can we clear Logan's eye line a little bit? Can everyone be on this side? Like, so when he looks forward, he's not seeing anyone. Does that make sense? Oh. Yeah, just clear the eye line a little bit. Uh. And then, so yeah, you're just seeing. Just throwing this out there, you didn't have to do that for me. I was fine in front <laughs> no, of yeah, the crowd. Yeah, yeah, I didn't act in any circumstance. <laughs> Please, I, just even an extra, Hi, anything. Higher mic. He, he, <laughs> I need it. He could, use, he could use it. No, no, he could use the job, yeah. Yes. <laughs> the free job. Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. You've got this. Yeah, I got this. I'm got this. Just chilling should at we, a party. Should we supporting act it? Yeah, a let's bit. supporting act it, mate. Look. No, 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 no. I don't. No, I don't, no, no. He I'll needs this. Everyone, quiet on set. The sounds there. You grab that hand and you connect with something that's so fucking horrifying. You let it in, and when your head comes down, the darkest part of yourself has taken over. You can't control your body anymore. Okay. Right, right, right. <clears throat> and action. Talk to me. Who? Who? I let you in. I wish I never vlogged. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh Jesus Christ I, I can't wait to see that angle I can't wait to see that fucking angle bro. I'm sorry that was What horrible. happened there? That was That was I don't know what I what I did like about the performance turn, turn is, the lights on. is they was, turn the lights on. Who was the spirit that you saw? Was it Fousey Tube or something like that? Like, wow, I was looking at a chair. That's why I can't make shit up. I'm not an actor. I'm not an actor. No, but do you know what I liked about that performance? Was Nothing. It, no, no, no. There was a strong part of it. Is that giddiness and that nervous laughter? I bought that before you said I'll let you in. I bought that. That was good. That was that was. I think you guys all did very well. Maybe, maybe I won't be in the Street Fighter movie. <laughs> <laughs> now, Logan, I know you've got this contract with the WWE. But once that's done, would you ever get down and dirty in the yard? Barbed wire, thumbtacks, fire, blood. It depends how many people are watching. <laughs> I feel like it's better than smaller. No, yeah. it's not. No, nice it's and not. grunge. You know what it is? It's not worth it. That's why I have, I have so much respect for wrestlers who, who did the indie circuit. And there's yeah. going to be WWE fans who are like, this is what, this is exactly what we're talking about. He didn't earn his spot. You're damn fucking right I did it. <laughs> oh my God. I did not come up the way that these wrestlers came up. They are tough ass people who deserve their spot in the WWE or whatever company, promotional wrestling company that they're doing. Like, good for them. I would not do that. I had a different route uh, that has just as much merit as any of them. But I have... A lot of respect for the people who did it the old-fashioned way. I did it a little smarter. That grind. Much smarter, not harder, bro. Dude, dude, I don't know. That that canvas is, is hard, and no matter where you are. How cool is Rey Mysterio? Oh, oh my, my God. Rey Mysterio that is, is the coolest fucking he's person insane, I've ever bro. met in Yeah, no, life. dude, he's chill. He's we, so we, nice. We met him and Dominic. Him, oh, God. Yeah, dude, Dominic, yeah, we man. met him and Dominic when Dominic was just training. Right? Yeah. And um, like, we were taking a photo, like a group photo for some like brand or something, some film. And then it was someone with a Rey Mysterio mask. And it yeah. ended up being the fucking real Rey Mysterio. Mysterio. And we were just fanboying all the time. And he was all for it. All our ideas for filming. He was so yeah, down for Yeah, he totally beat the their ass. Guy. Beat their ass in WrestleMania. That's what I did. I know. I, uh, I know. <laughs> to pick with you, man. Yeah. No, Rey's, Rey's, Rey's uh, probably one of the... No, he's one of the best wrestlers of all time. And, he's, and he's a sick human being. Yeah. And, and I, Humble. I, I, had a, Dude, I, had a cra ultimate, I had a crazy ultimate. idea recently uh, for Dom. Because Dom is super heel right now. I don't know yeah. if you guys are following. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dominic Mysterio can, a great cannot get a word out. I'm telling you, he lifts the microphone to his mouth and the whole arena, boo! He can't say, he can't cut a promo. And he plays on it and it's really working right now. They hate him. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Logan Paul, 
Dominic Mysterio tag team. The most hated duo <laughs> of all time. The most hated tag team partners in the WWE. Just crushing it, running through it. Because we have a story arc, too. We both did our first WrestleMania together. That was both our first WrestleMania. Okay. I think it'd be crazy. That's awesome. The reason I the wouldn't TLC, be... TLC, no holds barred. <laughs> bar no wire. Bar wire. Inferno match. match. Inferno. Three falls. Flaming table match. <laughs> all right. Chill the fuck out. Why did you cast you guys in your movie? I was curious about that. Michael, Michael? have a cameo. Where? He's at the start of the film. In fact, all the actors are in the start of the film dressed up in different costumes. At the party? No yeah, way. yeah, we hit everyone no in way. there. Yeah, but um, yes, I think that I would be for that, but I like the duo with um, Rhea Ripley too much. Uh, that's the only issue. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, but, but I'm sure I could fit my way in there. Squeeze in, uh, squeeze I, in. I, you know. You want to third wheel this? Third, essentially, who cares? Who cares? And honestly, honestly, I don't know. Maybe me, me and Dom, maybe, maybe we could go further than him and Rhea. Oh, oh. <laughs> I like your ambition, son. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I, I appreciate. I don't know. I love. Are you okay, Mike? You kind of seem a bit. You seem out of. No, I, I, well, what's going on? Are you still possessed, yeah. mate? What's going what's on? What's going on with you, mate? You, you had the thing. Out, you had your pump of energy. Can I be honest? Now you're flatlining. What's Do going? You want me to be honest with you guys? Yes. I'm worried that the fame and the riches and the elite nature of Hollywood is going to tear you guys apart as brothers. Oh. I'm worried that there's going to be a competitiveness. I'm worried that there's going to be a, maybe a high level starlet, star, 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 starlet, Scarlet, Scarlet, Scarlet Johansson, Johansson. Yeah. Uh, maybe for example, which would work is going to come between you. How are you guys staying close as brothers as you take this journey together? We are not taking, we're not, we, we, it's seriously, press is difficult because I have to do it all with Michael and we, we sit next to each other on the plane and I'm like, dude, could you have sent us anywhere? Not next to Michael. I need a break from this man. Oh, damn. You are driving my. I am done with oh you, Scarlett. <laughs> help me. <laughs> I, I just yeah. I don't know. No, no. It's it's so weird. We always would fight in the edit suite because I didn't edit the movie. Michael didn't edit the movie, and we would argue over whose edit was better. And mine was always better, by the way. I don't think. No, I was even. <laughs> You know, look, I don't, I, look, I think everything we direct will direct together. Do you know I why? I think Danny gets, Danny's the one with the ego. Oh, what? That is not <laughs> Danny's the one with the ego. No, no. I feel like that about my brother. Oh, oh no. yeah, well, no. Jake's. Michael, no, I'm just kidding. I've dude. never said this on camera, but bro, I love you. <laughs> That's what I was having a touching thing. Oh, really? Yeah, let's just not do the touching thing. We've never hugged before. Michael. Did you know that? Yeah. Do you want a hug? No. 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 That would be Wait, great what? if you guys could do If we that. could hug. That that would would come on, big bro. No, come no. on, don't be like that. Come on. <laughs> Let's just hug. What the fuck is going on here? Just give me a hug. No. We've you never done it before. You've hugged. You've hugged. No, we've literally... Yeah, no, dude, I'm, I'm being oh, serious. No. No, I don't think, I don't think we've ever hugged. We could, you guys, could you guys do it? It would mean a lot to us. I feel like... like it, Only if you guys kiss. Not today. Not today. We're taking the day off. so down. Yeah, look, how about, Danny, if you, Michael? we both do a dive onto this table here, if you do the better dive than me. Why do a dive when I can just throw you on it? No, guys. <laughs> no fucking way they just did that. No, guys. No way. No way. No way. No way. You guys can stop it. You guys can stop it. You want this? You want this? Oh, no. oh my god. Oh my god. You all can do anything. We are here, <laughs> impulsive. Live alert. Crime is happening. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the film. So, I'm so sorry, A24. I, I really. I'm so was that? That was unprofessional. Well, I do apologize. <sighs> so, um, any more questions about the movie? I, I, I had I had a question about YouTube in general. How do you feel the landscape has changed? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if I had a life alert right now, 
I'd be pressing that shit. I do right. have <laughs> one. Oh, I've fallen and I can't get up. Can you hit it for me? <laughs> Please help me. Yo, Bro. what? I'm so sorry. You guys do, are so do you want to you know what's crazy? <laughs> you guys now have been on two video uh, impulsives in 2023 because you just made the best of 2023. Uh, ah. Year end re review. Caleb obviously probably oh. won two, ah. like somewhere in there. So great job, A24. You should be happy about that because. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're at More Play Studio here in Miami. <laughs> Sorry about More the Play, table. We owe you a new table. <laughs> yeah. You can send us the invoice. Y'all are fucking insane. You, why don't you guys do, join the WWE? <laughs> uh, I, just, I just don't think we'd nail that. Uh, yeah, you might be able to. What are you talking about? <sighs> Look, um... WrestleMania, me and you, yeah. hell yeah. in a cell! Yeah, let me hear it, boys. <laughs> Vince, you've got my number. Logan will give you my number. It's Triple H, Michael. Get, get, get H, amongst it. H. H. You're so good. You're H. so good. H. That was incredible. That was insane. But, like, also, but also, I'm just did, taking it all did in. Did you not I didn't, in I some didn't, way expect I, for that I didn't. I didn't. I'll tell you why. I thought, I thought now that they're big, the time. big time filmmakers, <laughs> I honestly thought they come in suits. <laughs> <laughs> No, like, not, I don't know. Nothing's changed. changed. No, but no, when, 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 <laughs> when will it? When will it? Because that's what I want to ask you guys. The reason, the reason he was having so much trouble doing that funny scene, and the reason why I was able to pull my, pull my attempt to pull my dick out, right, <laughs> was because he's a, a CEO and chief executive officer. No, no, you know no what that's I'm not saying? why. It's not he's why. a president no, I'm not, of, of I'm a not corporation. An actor. I'm not an actor. No, no. At some point, will you guys start attending those rituals I was talking about earlier, the Illuminati stuff? Why have you been invited? Yeah. How do you think we got the film picked up? Uh, <laughs> YouTubers with a film, you think that's normal? You think the movie's actually good? You think we haven't signed up to the Illuminati? You really think that? Are you stupid? What the fuck is going on with your dumb head, mate? Yeah, you're damn right we did. <laughs> oh, hell, the elite. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't believe you guys were in the movie. You're both so good at, at acting and just being. I that think, wasn't, the, our acting's pretty bad. No, no, no. I, 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 yeah, you could have been in it. I think he's a better performer than I am. You've always said that. Yeah. Uh, you've said that, you said that. I'm always behind before. the camera. Yeah. Always, always, was always. There, was, there, was, there, was there anything uh, YouTube-y about the way you shot? Or was there like, like what have you, did you take anything from the way you shot on YouTube? Because I, th I thought, Maybe there'd be like a Rocka Rocka esque style, like whip pan or like smash or something. And I noticed maybe a little of it, but honestly, it, it felt like a completely new style of Rocka Rocka. I knew that I wanted to exist outside of Rocka Rocka in the channel. Mm. Like it's always been very specific content for a specific audience. I know that there were times where we had to adopt that Rocka energy. So do you want to? Yeah, oh yeah, there was one scene, there's a montage sequence where we had 50 setups to do in two hours. And the first AD said to us, it's mathematically impossible to get all these shots. Like you're not gonna be able to get it in the amount of time. So we only had two hours. Yeah. And we just said, let us control the set for these two hours. Yeah. And we had two cameras and then we just fucking balls to the wall. We just had a boom box playing music. And then we just like nailed everything. And all the crew were like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, we can give Logan wow. a quick exclusive clip of that for like 10 seconds a little bit. Here's some ex an exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> it's good footage, it's good footage. But we went rogue and like the camera was just flying around and, and shout out to our Focus puller as well, Charlie, to even, he was keeping up with it. No so, shot was like planned. So it was there's, like, a, there's a person who is uh, disconnected from the, the uh, person who's holding the camera that twists a dial that pulls the focus to, to uh, get the correct distance between the camera lens and the person, the thing that needs to be in focus. And that person's job is very fucking hard. So yeah. hard, yeah. They gotta, they gotta stay on their shit. They gotta know that device like inside and out. Yeah. This guy was working overtime on those scenes. <laughs> well, yeah, like camera was just flying to... everywhere and somehow he kept it all in focus. Uh, it's such a skill, it's such a talent. It, it is, but like a lot of it was, yeah, it's like the, it's so much more personal, the film. It's like, it's really touching on a lot of fears and things like that, Danny, like things that scare Danny. And like, it, it, and it just all stems from, you know, stuff from childhood and things like that. That's like, like exploring a deeper side of yourself. What, do, what scares you guys the most? To be honest, it's, I think mental illness scares me the most. And knowing that it runs in our family and you feel like, because it's a part of them, it's gonna be a part of you. And when you start feeling it coming on, yeah, you, you like yeah that, that that part really scares me. So we express that a little bit in the film as well. I think you tackled that angle perfectly. Uh, the 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 no the feelings that Mia had about not feeling like she existed almost, and, yeah. and the way that was portrayed, like 
I think a lot of people related to that, you know, it, which, it, which is which is cool because I don't know if that conversation is being uh, had in a realistic way. Not in that way. That's not in the way you guys had it. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> do you want it? Do you want to know the scene that I I, I really saw Rocka Rocka come through was the. Uh, it's always going to be action packed. Yeah. So, so the stuff that we were talking about earlier with the beginning of the movie was the stuff that surprised me, the character development, the loss of the mother, the, you know, even the development of, of Riley as a young boy and the cigarettes and all that stuff was outside of your guys, Norm. And it was so well done, so well written and, and, and really also a huge shout out to the actors. Every actor in that movie was incredible. I was waiting for one to kind of be not so good. Every single person that you guys cast for this movie was fucking incredible. Ev everybody, just an incredible cast. But uh, the scene where uh, Riley ha start smash his head on the fucking table. Yeah, yeah. That, I, I that, said that that's a rock a rock scene. Yeah, for sure, for sure. One thousand percent. The sound effects. The it sound was effects that you guys a do. brutal. Hey, disgusting. Yeah. It was disgusting. And and um, you know, we I was at the Jake fight and um, uh, uh, mini Jake Paul, uh, Titus, Titus yeah. his parents. We're saying, uh, oh, Titus really wants to go see that Talk To Me movie. <laughs> He's really excited. I go, oh, no. he cannot see that. <laughs> I go, are you out of your mind? He, how old is he? What is he, like six, <laughs> seven? I go, no, dude. I go, I am not okay. Literally still <laughs> having watched it. He cannot see that movie. So that scene and then also the toe sucking scene. That's great. Maybe, maybe, did, maybe Titus can be in the next film. Uh, do you know, he's an actor. Do you know, it's, a, it's a part of childhood though, isn't it? Watching something that just completely traumatizes yeah, you. A horror film. Sure. Your guys' movie could be that. Well, yeah, yeah, what was your film that you remember watching and being like, oh my God, that fucked me up. Um, um, Amityville Horror. Wait, the remake no, or the original? No. Oh, sorry, the remake. The remake. Yeah, 2003. Yeah, I, it's the reason I don't watch scary movies. Really? Yeah, I, I don't watch scary movies. I, I, your guys is like, um, for some reason I could do it. I don't like paranormal. I don't like. I really don't like. I can't oh, do it. Oh, like Blair, Blair Witch. I won't, was like, I won't, That was like right around the time. Yeah. Blair Witch was right around the time. I also have a bunch of like strange like indies that didn't make it. That I that I look at as like graphic horror movies that I still watch and it's like go ship. I don't know if you guys ever saw. Oh, that. Of course, yeah, that's that fucking weird. That opening scene is nuts. It's no, and the end of it where it comes full circle and shows what really happened on the boat that yeah. turned everybody into ghosts, like that the robbery and shit. That's a that's a weird movie. But for me, it's all the you guys were able to combine the 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 development because some of the scariest movies for me are not horror movies. They're movies like Requiem for a Dream, which is a which is yeah. a, uh, the Aronofsky classic, yeah. which is a fucking, you'll never be the same. You, I watched it with him. I don't know if it had the same effect on him, but, but I didn't, they- I didn't, We didn't finish it. Right. Oh <laughs> my God, I like it. But, but, it was late night. It was late night. It was a late, it was a late night. night. It was a late night. But, but you know, they, they say the movie you swore you'll never see again. Like it, it, it yeah. changes the, the course of your life after you see it. It's a, a fucking iconic classic. No, but Logan's guys, left. You guys, you guys are able to channel that that fucked upness from character standpoint, as well as the horror stuff. Because you go to some of these horror movies and it's just gratuitous violence, and you and your guys' characters were so built out, so well acted, and 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 Sophie is incredible. Her everything, her expressions, her ability to channel the pain of the, the loss, like was in, was fantastic. Yeah, it's like having characters that are relatable makes the horror more believable and like, it was so so we i loved that sorry cast so much that even zoe who wasn't a main actor if they weren't available to shoot the film i said that i don't want to shoot the film until they are available okay. like there's uh because um and then their audition was 10 out of 10 and all of the cast that we picked as soon as we found them like oh my gosh we felt so lucky and like we need we need this cast to go ahead it was yeah I, i've got a random the adhd oh do you want to go first <laughs> i got a random pivot like question i i, I have a couple more questions about just the film okay but, michael but, so but, why but you, put a put a pin in it it's a, it's a deep put, one all one right I'm say. all right I, well this this one's kind of deep okay as the directors of the film is mia a bad person i i see i think that um i don't think Mia's a bad person i think mia I really relate to Mia, and I think that she makes bad decisions, but like with, with her character, I think even if you don't under agree with what she's doing, we hope that you can kind of empathize and see why, like why she would make those decisions. Because you know, if, if you haven't got that circle around you to really help you when you're in those dark moments, and she was starting, starting to alienate those people a little bit, and she was losing those connections, like who's gonna help pull you out of that dark spot? Like, and so, I look at that as a, I knew I was telling a tragedy and looking at the worst case scenario of being in one of those pits and, and losing the people that can pull you out. So I empathize with And she that. had multiple chances. And it's funny too, when you guys talked about it earlier as being like almost like a drug 
uh, resemblance or symbolism of, of drug use. Nobody, you know, fucks over loved ones and friends and family members more than a than an addict in the chase of a, of a high, right? And and I, I, it struck me immediately. Like she was she was so in the hunt to reconnect with her mother that she did not care what collateral damage there was outside of that reconnection. And it was such a beautiful portrayal of exactly how you guys describe it, that that high that you can get from whatever vice we chase in this life. It was beautiful, beautiful uh, storytelling. And, and then even outside of that, those spirits are in her and they're helping manipulate these decisions and they're taking- That was fucked up. Yeah, they're taking advantage of her. So it's not her fault that she's being, this, they, they abuse this thing and they're in her and they're in their head like any sort of intrusive thought. Like, but it's winning and it's beating her and it's unfortunate, but I, I wouldn't say it's entirely her fault at all. Well, and it's like, yeah. Oh, she, yeah, throughout the film, it's just every ounce of intimacy getting stripped away from Mia until there's nothing left. So I really empathize with the character. I know there's some people that they don't. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really empathize with her. She just needs to embrace the genuine connections, everyone. Was that moment with the, with the father, would you consider that the climax? Like, I mean, like... Not, not the climax, like the peak of the, the story, like where there was the accidental, I'm not gonna say what happened. Yeah, I-, I the, the theater, went, cause I, I, I like to mark some of the moments where the theater, like the toe stocking scene theater erupted into laughter. Like, and, and it was so weird to laugh during such a weird mm. moment. Like you were like almost uncomfortable. But I remember that moment with the dad on the floor where everybody just was like, oh, here, there it goes. Like, th we've now entered, like, there's no coming back from this. No yeah, I, I still like the climax. Climax of the film is my personal favorite. Like, the very ending yeah, yeah, it's uh, is still, still, yeah, for me, the strongest. And wait, was there another question you had? I was curious. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I, I did have one question. It's, it's stupid, but I've been curious because it's the one thing I, I, I don't know. Maybe the answer is simple. Um, towards the beginning, um, when Mio had already kind of been possessed, and the thing was living in her and she was uh um had that sleepover with riley yeah there was a hand that came over him it looked like a monkey hand or something was it <laughs> and, and, and i was that what was that can you say yeah 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 was it just the spirit like, it's it's the spirit that she let in is still lingering inside her and they can sort of yeah, I don't want to spoil it too much, but it's a spirit's hand. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I thought it was like a gorilla. I, was uh, like, I think, I think the light, it was the lighting. No, 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 it was the, it was the no, lighting. No, no, that's another thing. There were a lot of dark ass scenes and Jorge uh, pointed it out. Uh, he, he, he mentioned how, how, how dark it was in, in a lot of the movie. And um, there was an interesting kind of feel with like lights, even the, the light at the very end, like yeah. the light. Was it was, was that at all in your head when you guys were setting up the scenes and how they looked aesthetically? Was the, that a story that was being like undertold? It, it's kind of like finding the visual language with the DOP. So it was like sh we like we were shot listing with them every day, trying to find you know the right way to tell the story. And that scene, we were we well, kind of sh uh, struggling a bit with. We knew what like how it was written, but how it would look was wasn't easy to, yeah. to but find. But the, the, hard, the hard thing to do uh, when the dark scenes is to light it in a way that, because there's a scene where something is hidden in shadow and then it comes out. That's my favorite scene in the movie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's horrifying and yeah. I hated it, I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's one of those things that it's so hard to know what each screen is gonna look like. You know how some people have that audible adjust filter yeah, and it, yeah. like, it brightens and lightens your screen. It's so difficult oh, to know true. what the balance is. So that was a difficult scene in the grading to really figure yeah, out. Yeah, like what's going to be best for all. And the same with sound. Some cinemas play it so low. It's like, what are you, you should uh, not mine, be able to mine, hear mine, play, mine played it low. I had to really tune in to listen to it. Did you really oh, have fuckers. a low? Yeah, but also y'all set up a private screening for me. Shout out 824. To, at, at a theater, we got to just chill. Like uh, we, we were making I was funny in comments. Row seven, <laughs> fucking D, next to a family of six. Yeah, like, well what done. No, because yeah. because I don't, I don't I don't think it was showing in Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only had one way to see it. Right, and, right. And so it, it worked. Can I? Can, they played low sound. It was fun. Can I ask you a, a question that hopefully will make someone in this room happy? Matt, dude, stu so many studios, so many, so much interest. Fucking Lionsgate, Marvel, like all these people that exist out there. A24. My God. The GOAT. The GOAT, especially in the, in the horror suspense realm, dude. Like, like, talk about, you know, Hereditary, Midsummer. So, so tell me what it felt like to find out that you were getting picked up by fucking A24, bro. But hold on, Hereditary, Midsummer, even Florida Project and Moonlight, like they're so filmmaker Parasite, first. Parasite, right? No, Parasite's uh, Neon. 
actually. Damn, you're a real. Oh, player. that you were doing pretty let's good. Um, did you put it in my? Oh, you put it my. It, he put it in my thing. Let's, in the let's PDF. cut that out. Oh, oh, oh let's be sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, actually, you know we'll what? Cut, we'll cut and what were you saying? Name a movie you were naming and then pick back up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just cut right and let's just it. pretend that never happened. That, um, it was in the PDF. It, it feels really. Dang it. It, Moonlight, dude, Hereditary, Parasite. There's a lot of great stuff. <laughs> no, I, I think that uh, we felt so overwhelmed. And when we had that experience at Sundance and we knew that we got picked up by them and we were all together, the cast and crew that made this thing in Australia on this small budget. And then everyone was there and this dream was coming true for everyone. Literally, we spent all of Sundance crying. It was so surreal. We were so overwhelmed and we felt so lucky and, and so blessed. And even now, when I think of it, I still feel like I'm dreaming. It's such a surreal feeling. It's insane. It's two, it's two feelings. It's that really grateful and like undeserving in a way, but also coupled with overwhelming anxiety. <gasps> to produce? Uh, just in general, like uh, I think it like stems from childhood maybe a little bit where I'm just waiting for it. Like, it's like oh, it's a dream a, come true. Oh, I'm waiting for it God, to be taken yeah. away or yes. something. Well, that's an, yeah, it's yeah. like too much good is happening. Like that's what it feels like to me. I'm just, uh, yeah, and I, I don't even know what I'm afraid of. I'm just afraid. I, I, uh, I lived in that for a really long time. Yeah, that, that was actually what was gonna be my question because like there's a lot of eyes on the film. It's like, it's just scary. Like, well, well yeah, how, how do you, how how do you, do you deal with it? Because it's crazy, like you're. Well, I, so I lived in that for a really long time. I said it once on this podcast and it, I was afraid to say this sentence because, you know, you, you manifest, you, you, you put things out into the universe, you like attract the energy. And I, but I've always just been really like honest with myself and I don't mind being honest about what I'm feeling sometimes, even if it isn't like super positive. And I, and I said, I was like, I can't help but shake this feeling of impending doom. That's what I felt, impending doom. And dude, because I was certain my life was going so good. How did I get a fight with Floyd Mayweather? That made no sense. I found this amazing girl, like all this, all this good stuff had been happening and is happening. And I always thought at one moment it would be stripped away from me because why me? What, and I, I continually am being blessed by life and I feel so lucky and I'm so grateful. And I will say the feeling will pass, but something that will help and that has helped me and I continue to do every day. My version of prayer is just that of gratitude and thanks. Just be so fucking thankful that you guys are in the position that you are and, and know that you're, you deserve to be where you are. You didn't just get here. You didn't click your heels together three times and show up and have this hit at the box office. You guys have been doing this for your whole lives. It's what you love to do. It's your passion. And finally, reality caught up to how good you guys know you are at this. So just be thankful for where you are. And as long as you keep a good head on your shoulders, you're honest with yourselves, you remain good people. And life brothers. Will be, and brothers, life will be good back to you. Like, yeah, I don't know. Thanks. Don't, ta don't right. take any of it for granted. You yeah. got a little imposter syndrome, if you it's, oh, it's, yeah. oh my God, yeah. dude, dude, we're sitting in these like, like uh, parties with A24 directors and A24, it's like, the what the one? fuck <laughs> are we doing here? It's like that, it's like, what are we doing here? They've got hoods on, they're sacrificing <laughs> <laughs> a go. I don't know what's going on. So mad. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, we need to cut all that shit. <laughs> dude, that's when I knew though, when I, when I saw the A24, I said, cause I remember the Sundance moment. I'm dry, dude, you imagine me, it's probably a similar situation situation of drop ball is him well very different but similar in, in essence i'm driving probably filming a fucking vlog about the dumbest shit that does not matter i'm driving through the the snowy fields of of uh park city utah during sundance i've gone the past three or four years you know probably just got done skiing whatever and i'm driving and i look on the side of the road and i see like a pack of people walking down the street and i go <laughs> Is that the Rocka Rocka Brothers <laughs> walking down the? Sh By the way, like two miles from Sundance, like two miles from like <laughs> from like the downtown area, and I open the window and I go, "Boys!" And they look over, and of course, the first thing they do is like uh, basically like this. <laughs> they run over, start smashing on the windows. Ah! <laughs> Bro, we're doing a um. We're doing a premiere of our movie. You got to come to it. And, I, you know, like in my mind, I was probably like, damn, I think I have to shoot Snapchats or something tonight, yeah. you know, like and just and got carried away with meaningless bullshit and, and didn't go. And now look at you guys. I didn't yeah. invest in the movie and I, I had a chance. <laughs> how much how much uh, would you have asked me for? 
A mil? Uh, no, 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 it was not a mil. No, no, oh. it was a quarter of a mil AUD. It's probably like 150 oh, one, USD yeah. or something like that. How long? How long ago? Before COVID? Uh, no, it was 2000 and... 21, end nah, of 2021. He didn't have it, trust me. He didn't have I it. Have he it, just man. started having money, like WWE and shit. Oh shit. Yeah, he's been he's been poor too. He just he just pretends. You're a pretend. Oh yeah, uh, that that <laughs> moment. You're in, you're you're in our vlog, which is called. We made a horror film, which shows our entire Sundance experience. Yeah, we called you Adam Sandler. Then. Yeah, so you're you're in that. You should, you should watch it. You're in the vlog. I wish I I, 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 I watched the vlog. Oh, did you really? Yeah, of course. Oh, I, I, I stay up to date on your guys' shit, and I love when creators break the mold. Y'all are doing something really special. You broke out. You fucking did it. Not that many people do it. You did it, and I'm obviously invested in your journey. And, ra and raise the bar in a, in a, this is what I tweeted when I wrote it. You guys raise the bar so high now that like any, it, I hate to say it, but like any other aspiring like breakout creator, directorial writer for movies, dude, Give they're up. fucked. You're they're fucked. so, and You're I hate so to bad. say that, like they, they can, gonna make it. They, cause, cause, cause <laughs> listen, when these people who are watching this, <laughs> <laughs> it's over, dude. Uh, no. You don't stand a chance. I was going to say the opposite. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. Say, I hope this inspires. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, like, it's like it's possible. Like, it's all possible if you if you want something enough. Like, and you put your whole heart and soul into it. There's no way you just don't go anywhere with it. And even if. People always like live in like like a their own heads enough that they, they don't attack like they don't chase something they want to do it but they just don't start for whatever reason it's like the first steps are the hardest and once you go just like keep going and you're always just gonna get better and you'll never like regret it I feel like just go a hundred percent like and that's all like we did it's just like we're just going for this going for broke and it's always been like that put everything into Every, fucking what you we want make. you went all in and it's funny too because I remember there was always so much like pain and sadness around the poor Rocka Rocka YouTube channel. <laughs> we're, yeah. banned. we're banned again. We're demonetized. Our spot we can't get sponsors because of our gratuitous violence. And and the fucked up thing about it is if you had gotten to a point where you were making comfortable money off YouTube, what would have ever pushed you to dump your life into a fucking script? I make very comfortable YouTube money. I have no reason to do anything outside of that i don't have to i can just keep showing up you yeah. know what i'm saying and it wasn't until your asses were stripped yeah because you just kept doing exactly what you fucking wanted to and what you loved that you had the opportunity to really create something special it's actually so the worst thing that happened to you was the best fucking yeah, thing that so, happened yeah our blessing in disguise and we're so thankful for youtube for like we it gave <laughs> us an audience yeah. at least yeah. like, we never have would have had the eyes we would have had the climb the conventional route to getting a film made and i think we would have probably made a, a film like prematurely or something like that like we're so thankful to youtube they're just it's a business and like we don't have any like ill will towards them or anything but i also feel like even if we had that money we will when we were making money on YouTube, we still put every dollar back into our videos. And so- It's like really bad. Like you and like you guys are so awesome, like awesomely business-minded, set up so well. Like Danny and I are so bad at that stuff. <laughs> Anything finance is oh, like- Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm super bad with money. Um, but you got I'm, a good team, I'm, right? I'm good, good at, I'm good at building brands. But yeah, bro, I don't, I don't know how I have money. I just spend it. We're the, <laughs> we're the exact opposite and obviously on different scales. He, he blows it. I'm a hoarder. Like if you gave me a guaranteed project right now and you were like, dude, 500K, dump it and you'll make 10 back. It's not leaving my checking account. If he flies across the country with oh his girl, God. she flies middle seat economy. Oh, He's the first you know, like that, that's the type you know, that's really, <laughs> you know, that story's really viral right now. And I've been getting comments about it constantly and it's out of context and I'm pissed off. Bro. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll clarify quickly. I had a first class seat. I at fuck. Ooh, I hate even having to do this. Messy. I had a first class seat. I added her onto the flight. There was no first class available. No. Will you get her first class now? She's flying first class with me, yes, now. From here to New York for my pop-up. 1010 Burgers, which will come to Australia yeah. soon. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm like, just to avoid thing. more negative comments. <laughs> 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 and by the way, you guys, I think you guys know this, and I want, and I want to say this right now. I love your whole region down there. Australia? Bro. Yeah, dude. You, uh, yeah, you, you know guys, how yeah. much I've been bigging it up, right? Like yeah. my whole clothing brand is is Culture Kings now. Like I'm yeah. collab with Culture Kings. I count money in AUD now. Like my money comes in in AUD. I'm locked in. <laughs> so it's <laughs> less. You get less because the AUD. Way less. They're like, oh, mate. It's spent a, a good month. You did 290,000 this month. And I'm like, sick, cool. And then by the time it gets there, I'm like, wait, did he say <laughs> <laughs> The fuck is this shit, bro? No, the conversion's uh, not mate, too good. You're sick.
thinking oh, I was thinking USD. He was like, UD, mate. I'm you, like, great, dude. You, sick. I know that you, you're you going to come down under, but you're only going to go to Sydney and Melbourne. I urge you. No, no. Come to Adelaide. You were so busy with your whole shit. No, 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 not us. Not even us personally. I you, already went. To South I've Australia? Been, I've done, no, I didn't, but I did. That's what I'm saying. I did so many places, bro. I did the whole thing. I did not do Adelaide. See, yeah, no one does Adelaide. You have to, Logan, come to Adelaide. No one does well, it. Well, should have been do down it. there. I, I, I love Australia. The, the issue is just, it's so far. No, it is so far. far. Once you're there, it's great, but dang, it's so removed. Especially in a uh, middle class, you know, economy <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But no, I like I, I like Briz Vegas. You guys, Bri good Brisbane. Brisbane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brisbane. Oh, but, but Radelaide, I'm telling you, it's, it's unappreciated. <laughs> You've got to come to Adelaide. Next time you're down there, let us know. And is there a Misfits boxing event happening in Australia right here? Do you guys know anything about that? I don't. Well, <laughs> if there is one, I want to be on that card. Boo. JJ, let me know. I want to do one. Wait, where are you, where are you guys located? <laughs> we don't really have a, we're in Australia. Well, Adelaide, Adelaide. Yeah, Adelaide, Adelaide yeah. but you, only you, there. You fought once. I fought on your first card, yep. on the uh, eight, yep. Logan Paul that's versus right, that's right. KSI. That. Logan Paul v KSI won. One. The Two. one with the, the um, do you know what's so weird? <laughs> because I was there for the whole behind the scenes Wait, of that. When you guys did your, it was a draw and everyone's like, oh, that's so rigged. And I was saw the whole thing. I'm like, it definitely was not fucking rigged. <laughs> it's so weird how those conspiracy theories come to life. Oh, the dude, there is like Snapchat uh, accounts like dedicated to these fake stories about you and Jake, <laughs> about like Tyrone Woodley uh, it, it rigged and all. It's like, yeah. I remember being up for that fight. It's like, that's not rigged at all. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so weird. He, people just make shit up. Dude. Yeah, it's you can, crazy. You can say whatever you want. You get a headline, you get clicks, you're going to do it again. Yeah. And everyone's doing it. There it runs to, the entire culture right now. And there not, needs to be like, like, there needs to be like an AI that, uh, I mean, I guess it, the equivalent would be community Twitter's notes. community notes. Yeah. yeah. It's like, this is false. Like, I, hey, by I, the way, they're I, always false. I saw one today that was like Biggie Smalls predicted the pandemic. And oh, it was wow. like, it was all a dream. There's going to be a pandemic in 2019. And it was like the fact checkers have decided this oh is my not true. Obviously, <laughs> it's not fucking true, bro. But do you guys, is there any wild conspiracies that you guys actually do believe in? I Outside think that, of now the Illuminati, which you've seen. No, no, person. I really do think that fucking fight was rigged. I'm like, ah. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Uh, I, I, yeah. Hmm. Conspiracies. And do you have to be careful how you answer this because you're so attached to Hollywood now? And you no, have to I be think. Woke. What <laughs> the, you know about this whole new update about this? Oh, I need to get that footage off of you. No, wait, I'll, talk, I'll ask that later. That alien footage. I'll show you. Oh, yeah, show me, show me, show, show me, show me. I, I actually, no, no, just show me. Don't worry about that. Just show me. His mm -hmm. footage is crap. <laughs> you, wait, what do you what do you have? You have a UFO? No, 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 no. I remember you. I've, you showed me last time I was. I want to see it. You did get to see it, Danny. I, I know. Did. Yeah. It's shit, right? It's that thing when you look at it, like when, when, you, you, scroll, when you scrub it's it. It's very, very interesting. It's interesting when you. Yeah. It's, it's interesting, but I remember what you said, and it made sense. It's like. The, it feels like it's the missing piece of something. That's yeah. what it feels like to That's me. Great. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah, when the government's like, we've discovered these orange hovering crafts that move like that. I'm going to be like, I got something. <laughs> yeah, I want to show you yeah. something. <laughs> well, that kind of Wait, just happened. Can, can you show me now? Um, no, not now. Not that this second, but today, like after this wraps. I, I think so. I think so. Please, I want to see it so I, bad. I, I'm trying to think if I have it. Fuck. The only thing I couldn't get past with it was the strings. Like they're so. <laughs> once I saw those, I was like, dude, like it's pretty. Unless eight, what the aliens use strings. Like, yeah, yeah. It's so obvious, bro. It was done in Mr. Rogers' basement. Dude. Yeah. Like, oh man. Oh. Wait, I, they've got to show. You. If they've got footage, they should just show it. I don't think anyone. I don't think it would blow everyone's minds. And they keep all these. Uh, 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 I, I, I realized something. I realized something. All right, all right. Fuck. We're getting into conspiracy theories. All right, all right, all right. Check us out. Uh, uh. I saw this video. I watched these weird YouTube videos. Like, like that. Uh, the array of content that I consume is just ridiculous. And I watched this one that showed what the ISS would look like if it was like at ten thousand feet um, orbiting Earth, the International Space Station. Yeah. Right. So that when that thing's in space orbiting Earth, it takes ninety minutes, I believe it is. Fact check me on all these numbers here to to orbit the Earth, which is moving at a speed of like seventeen thousand five hundred miles an hour, like an extremely fast speed, a speed you you as far as we know, cannot reach here in any man-made vehicle. But when you're orbiting the Earth and your orbit is being propelled by Earth's gravity, you can go that fast, right? That makes sense? So when this thing is, a, is at 10,000 feet, if you're standing here and it zips by at that speed, you can imagine how fast it's, it's, sink, it's gone, right? Yeah. The Tic Tac that dropped from 50,000 feet to, to five feet above the ocean in like a matter of seconds moves faster than that. If that's indicative at all of how fast these things are moving it does make sense why they're impossible to capture on camera why we never see them they could be here in a much more uh, uh 
uh, uh, dense way than we currently see, but you're you're never gonna see them. You, you, they they're gonna zip by the sky and they're oh and they're going fuck yeah, yeah and then like, yeah. 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 Well, 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 because they're defying physics the the way uh, uh, supposedly and I bet this is how these crafts are um, wired is that they 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 do not obey the laws of physics that we know because of te the technology that we have. If you drop the car off to the Egyptians, uh, you know, 2000 BCE, they know maybe you could figure out how to turn it on, but how the fuck did you make any of this? You yeah, know? yeah, that's, that's exactly what happened to the Egyptians. That's, that's, my, that's my conspiracy. The, the erosions on the Sphinx, the 20, how it could be 20,000 years old. That, the, Look, the Sphinx, no. no. No! <laughs> Listen, I, I said this conspiracy theory last time that I was on this podcast, but the moon being a UFO that's keeping us in gravitation makes sense. Whoa, whoa, but, that's something a flat earther would say. Just yeah, be careful. Just, You're a flat earther. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I saw it. No. He, would, he knew there would be backlash, so he pretended it was a Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you thought, you, yeah, the original Ducker was him proving everyone. Like, that whole story I told about my friend falling off the side of the flat earth I is real. It was real. No, oh, it was yeah. real. Oh, oh, oh. That was my first does that, mean, does that mean Alexander the Great was a flat earther? Because he wanted to reach the end of the world. Like, we didn't have he satellites. Didn't know. Whoa. He didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, he should have known. No. He should have known. He should have had Google Maps. aliens existed, and they were that advanced. If they were that advanced, thousands and thousands of years, and they could travel light years across galaxies and space and time, you think they're going to be zooming around near the ocean to be able to survey us? No way. No. They could do it from bloody light years well, away. Well, oh, unless it's so like, I don't believe no, 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 because you know what it could be? I don't believe it. But you know it could be? It could be like a, a lower, it's like, there's the real good ones, like the highly no, advanced the ones. High and quality there, there's yeah. the kind of the, 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 the local, yeah, they're like, oh, we've still got to get down there. And then they yeah. crash these UFOs that are so advanced. They're like, oh, whoops, we accidentally crashed on Earth. It makes to, no sense. Everyone makes to mistakes. Travel, to travel light years, which is like in like trillions of miles of distance, and then to yeah. crash on the last mile, it doesn't yeah. make any fucking sense. Well, like, <laughs> oh, oh, and it would have been the dumb one. It would have been like the mic of the group. It's like, oh, crashed. God damn it, man. Alien Mike, you crashed. Alien Mike, Mike, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, uh, I have my zipper down in the back. <laughs> Watch an alien born. That's something that doesn't make sense. Wait, to wait, wait. Did you, so what do you guys think? You just said Australian. Wait, 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 wait. What do you guys think about these Stop. updates with the fucking uh, guy that was on Congress talking about, you know, it's real. Like these fucking little being fuckers exist and there's proof of it. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, is, I'll say. Now, but he, he, uh, he this dude looked kind of crazy. He looked like me when I used to smoke crack. He does <laughs> like look a little his like His eyes were popping out. He was You're like, talking about Groosh. Yeah, Groosh. The bro. whistleblower. The yeah, UFO the big whistleblower. whistleblower. And, and, and nowadays, like, bro, it's just everything now is debatable. Like, I remember a time where, like, you could provide facts. You could provide talking points that were based in some logic or data. And now people just say... Who paid for the logic or data? Who paid for the experiment to be done? You know what I'm saying? Like, like gravity is a is a a theory that was proven by this person. What if that person was owned by PepsiCo? You know what I'm saying? Like everything now is 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 completely at the whim of who is is deciding to provide context or or bias or whatever. There's no fact. Oh, is it, gone. yeah, it's like you can the, that's the reversal of everything. It's like this is the stats, it's like yeah, but who made who those Who brought stats? the stats? Yeah. And well, it's kind of that it's kind of that thing like you're saying like like with those false accounts and stuff. It's like anyone could say, "Oh, this is real." Oh, this and you know, "Oh, this is no because this is the way it is." Like this is the right it, it's hard to know what the truth is. Well, I yeah, find the it strange truth is out there motor. But so are lies. <laughs> yeah. The truth. <laughs> Here's the problem. He doesn't know what show that's from. Yeah, do you know? I know what's good. Do you, did you ever watch? I do know. Oh, he does. Damn Name it. the show. He Cars. Knows. <laughs> <laughs> the animated Pixar show. Correct. <laughs> uh, yeah. You should. You should watch X Files. Shut up. Oh, 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 oh. Kev, Kevin got me the Alien file. Kevin. Oh. Kevin Hart. Kevin yes. Hart. <laughs> uh, 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 guys, I, I got. I gotta go. Oh yeah. No wait, before oh, you show us the footage. The I'll show you, I'll show you all after the podcast. Oh good, okay. I said one more one more plug for the sequel. Yeah, in two years, Dylan. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is did it, did oh, it get, is it picked up? Is it? No, no, we do. We, the, the sequel just got announced. But I think Holy shit. It got announced. Uh, Talk to me too will be coming out 
But talk to me one is in theaters now and please go support it. And you don't have to if you don't want to, but it'd be awesome. But any support is appreciated. Barbie, Oppenheimer, Mission Impossible, all the big ones, that's who we're up against. Any help we can get from the YouTube community, from the fans, from the creators, yeah. show your support. Let's continue to break the mold together as one. <laughs> Everyone, talk to me as the cinemas right now. <laughs> Fight scene. <laughs> guys what, a, what an amazing episode amazing. Danny, Michael thanks for coming on guys. thanks for having guys. us thank Holy you smokes. we apologize for always that. so much energy I seriously thank you, you so guys. much Logan thank you for having us of course of course I was so happy when you guys wanted to come on so guys if you haven't you. subscribed hit that subscribe button thanks for listening to this episode we'll see you next time take it easy peace and shout out Bentley my, uh, my nephew who loves Prime shout out Bentley shout out Bentley